Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Vikas Kumar, and my roll number is 16305-9007. So the title of my BTEC project is Enterprise Network Routing and Security Implementation Using IPv4 Protocol. Uh, so uh, a brief introduction with an enterprise network is an enterprise communication backbone that helps connect the various computers and it includes mainly the LAN and WAN networks. So the key purpose is to eliminate the isolated uh, users and provide and uh, retrieve information for an enterprise network. So there are the various uh, networking devices involved here uh, in this project. Uh, first one is the router which forwards the data, uh, data packets to the, uh, between the various computer networks and uh, switches which uh, uses the packet switching to receive process and uh, forward the data. There is a level, uh, layer 3 switch uh, which does the forwarding using the ASIC hardware. And there are various servers which are included in this project. Uh, these are the DNS, HTTP and DHCP servers. And there are various end, end devices or the peripherals like PC, internet, laptops and mobiles. So uh, there are the various technologies uh, used in this project. First is the VLAN. Uh, VLAN is stands for the virtual lanes. So a group of devices on same or different lanes are logically configured to communicate with each other. Let's say we have the uh, various, uh, various systems which are connected via these switches. So some of the, uh, some of the computers uh, which we form as a part of the VLAN 1 and in the uh, switch 2, the same computers that, that uh, we form, uh, formed as a part of the VLAN 1 can communicate with only the VLAN 1 computers. And they can't, go, uh, they can't uh, communicate with the VLAN B traffic. So uh, VLANs and they basically uh, works on the broadcast domain. There are the various VLAN parameters like VLAN name, VLAN number, VLAN type and state. So next the VTP. So uh, VTP is a VLAN trunking protocol. So it's a Cisco proprietary protocol and there are the various benefits of using a VTP. Let's say uh, <coughs> there is VLAN configuration uh, consistency in the layer 2 switches. So uh, VTP what, what it does basically uh, we don't have to form uh, VLANs every time. So once you configure the VLANs and uh, you run a VTP protocol, then uh, it does a dynamic distribution of the added VLANs across the network. Coming next, there is uh, there is the NET protocol, which is the net, uh, network address translation, which does the remapping of the one IP address uh, to another IP address. So there are four computers which are having the private IP address. Uh, so it will convert to the public IP address before uh, throwing the packet out into the network. So there are various examples of the net like IP filter, net filter and ICS, DNet and SNet. So it also prevents the IPv4 address uh, extension. So uh, coming to the uh, PET, that is the uh, port address translation. It is exactly the same as uh, net, but it is also having the port numbers associated along with the IP address. That's how the PET works. Let's say we have the uh, IP address 10.1.1.10 with the port number 3001. So that's inside, the, inside our company premises. So we have a net router. So what it will does it it will map the IP address to 209.165.201.1 with a port number of 2001. So that's the inside global, and then it will send it to internet. So with the outside address of 5.5.5 with the port 80. So it maintains the two tables like inside local and inside global. So whenever the packet comes from outside, it will again remap them back to the inside local. So routing protocols, uh, uh, these specify how the routers communicate with each other. It enables the uh, routers to select the best route between any two nodes in the network using matrices like hop count and link speed. There are various type of routing like uh, IGRP and uh, <coughs> EGRP, exterior gateway protocols. There is also static and dynamic routing. One of the routing uh, protocol which I have used in my uh, project is RIP. That is a version 2 routing. So ver RIP version 2, what is that? It, it is a class, it supports the classless uh, addresses and it supports the VLSM that is the variable length subnet masking and it uh, supports multicast and uh, it also supports the manual route summarization. So uh, that is the essential the network topology which I have implemented using the Cisco packet tracer. So as you can see here there are the various uh, nodes which are interconnected and uh, some of the tasks which I have to, uh, there are, these are the various IPs and uh, we have to just uh, uh, configure whole of the network setup with the basic configuration using the VLAN, VTP and inter VLAN the tasks are listed on the that side. We have to provide a uh, RIF version 2 routing. Along with that, the VLAN finance should not communicate with anyone in the network. So Noida router can ping any PC, but none. Uh, but it can access the SPES.com, make daily server DHCP to provide IPs to all the multi-layer uh, switch networks, supply PET on USA. PC28 should not communicate with PC33, apply static net server, and uh, all the three DNS should be accessible by all the PCs. So this is essential the topology which we have implemented in the Cisco packet address simulator. So, 
that's a uh, that's the simulator which I have used in the project. Uh, that's the overview of the GUI. Like there are the various uh, common toolbars which includes the selecting, moving, and deleting tool. So inspect simple PDU, complex PDU. These are the various tools and the packets. Like uh, we can check if a packet uh, goes through goes from this PC to that PC by using that uh, ping command. So just drop uh, drag and drop a packet to here and go to there, and it will finally last at the show. It will uh, show the statistic whether it is successfully able to ping that uh, other PC or not. So these are essentially the <coughs> GUI uh, which is explained in here. So adding or removing, like we have to select a switch model and we have we can manually configure it to add a port uh, or we can also remove a port, like whichever port we want before like uh, whichever module we want. So we can manually configure the um, each of the router and the switches before uh, proceeding. And uh, these are the various connecting devices. So uh, once uh, let's say these are the two routers and switches and this PC. So that's how essentially the uh, Cisco packet tracer works. So I have implemented whole of that uh, topology using the Cisco packet tracer. And finally, uh, the summary is that the, it has been successfully implemented and a lot of the technologies which uh, I uh, got, which I got to learn through this Cisco packet tracer like ACLs, uh, RIF version 2 routing, how these essentially work in the network. So that's all. Thank you.